yeah, I've got to be careful here. If I if I go to the South Pole trip, um, one of my teammates was perfect, and <clears throat> he he I know I know I could certainly rely on him if we got into trouble. He'd be, he'd have my back. That and and he's intelligent and capable and strong as a person, so I knew that depth was there if I needed it. But fun enough, the the more light side of it is, I got on well with him and we had a laugh and we had fun and we were on the same wavelength when it came to our humour and and the way we saw a situation. So, so I completely saw in him and understood in him that love that real depth of strength of character that he'd have my back that he had the intelligence and the determination to pull us out of trouble if we were in trouble and all that. I knew that. But the 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 lighter and more superficial element was that we really hit it off. We got on, we had a laugh and we were mates and we could, you know, we'd have the same approach, which which I think is, you know, on a daily basis kind of the more important thing. Um, so he was brilliant. I think red flags... Uh, would be perhaps somebody who's quite self-centered or selfish. So so were they then be able to be open to the teamwork, to the situation, to other people, to me? I don't know, that's a bit of a difficult one. Um I think attitude is everything. So I think, you know, 99% of these things is about attitude. So skills and behaviors can be learned uh, attitude affects everything and so it's about having the right attitude and ideally a positive one because that will make or break practically any adventure or difficulty that you'd be in. Yeah.